Hello, my name is Louisa Nara, and I am the Global Technical Director for the Center for Chemical Process Safety. Uh, I'm here today at the 14th Global Congress on Process Safety in Orlando, and I'm very privileged to be with our special guest, uh, Mr. June Mutop, who is the Representative, Director, and Executive Vice President of JXTG Holding Company. Now, we had met last year in Okayama at the fourth uh, Global Summit on Process Safety, where he was giving one of our keynote addresses. And I'd like to just ask him a few questions today about the talk that he had just given at our luncheon. Thank you very much. So, uh, Muta-san, I would like to uh, ask you to elaborate a little bit on your talk about establishing a solid process safety culture. Can you explain about the development of the risk-based process safety and the risk-based process safety culture in Japan and what your company is doing? I think the process safety in Japan is not well known at this moment. Actually, the word of process safety itself has no formal Japanese translation. Okay. But I believe process safety is very important. If one incident happened, the impact is significant. That is why I'd like to really focusing on effective process safety measures. Okay. And uh, I, I'm very interested in hearing some more about uh, the concept of being totally responsible. Mm -hmm. uh, can you expand on that? Okay. I think, of course, uh, as I explained in, the, in my presentation, the concept of the safety is something like a ball on an unstable table. A leader or manager is totally responsible for management, for management systems, for people's development, people's development, but uh, if something happened, if something happened with this ball flew off the floor, mm -hmm. I think a manager needs to take all of responsibility. It's one point. Okay. And the another point is risk matrix. If something happens beyond the expectation, even though that, manager cannot excuse. I mean, manager, if we utilize, we use a risk matrix, the result of consequence, manager needs to take responsibility. That is why we really put required resources. V very important aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you. You had, had talked about a sense of vulnerability. That's mm -hmm. something that CCPS really focuses on because if we forget that we're vulnerable, mm -hmm. Uh, that that leaves us unprepared and I'd like to, to hear a little bit about that. Again, the situation of the safe is to me very unstable. For example, even if we continue incident free operation one year, mm -hmm. it doesn't guarantee the next year. So we always think about some risk or something happened in the safe in the unit. So we have never stopped thinking. We, we want to think about a kind of worst case scenario, for example. Okay. Um, in your talk, you spoke about a, a paradigm shift mm -hmm. of changing from compliance to commitment. What did you mean by that? I think compliance is, of course, important. But compliance is compliance. It is really minimum requirement of a safe operation. In addition to that, I believe that people's motivation is very important because people doesn't feel like motivation from compliance. But if pe once people understand the importance of compliance, for example, or if commitment to follow the rule, for example, it makes something different. I mean minimum requirement plus something. This something portion is very important. It's coming from commitment. 
Absolutely, I agree with that. Uh, Motosan, one of the things that you said that, that really resonated with me is you talked about the culture and being heartfelt. Mm -hmm. And you even used that as, as one of your examples. Uh, you were very passionate about that. Tell me what you were thinking a little bit more. Again, I mean, safety instant. Of course, this is the impact on the business, mm -hmm. but more impact on the individual life. How do we save the people from the incident or something damage? That is why the base is really people safe. This is uh, really important. That is my passion. Okay. Well, it was very obvious when you gave your presentation today. Motosan, I would like to thank you very much uh, for coming to be here with us, for sharing your thoughts. But most importantly, I think, for your personal commitment, because from a leadership standpoint, that will go throughout your company. And we're very happy here at CCPS and AICHE that, uh, that you honored us with your presence today. So okay. thank, thank you very, you very much, much for the opportunity to speak. Thank you.